When an ETF comes along and offers a ridiculously high 16% yield, it sounds too good to be true. Is this ETF the real deal for investors? Let's find out. It's called SVOL, also known as the Simplified Volatility Premium ETF, and it currently has a massive 16.73% dividend yield. SVOL seeks to provide investment results before fees and expenses that correspond to approximately one-fifth to three-tenths the inverse of the performance of the CBOE Volatility Index short-term futures, while also seeking to mitigate extreme volatility. Yeah, when I first read that, it made no sense to me either, so here's what that means in plain English. The VIX, or the VIX, is a measure of volatility. With this index, investors are able to use a number to help measure fear and uncertainty in the marketplace. The number that's represented by VIX is derived from the price of near expiration date SPX options. So we can interpret a higher VIX as there being more fear and uncertainty in the markets, and a lower VIX as less fear and uncertainty in the markets. For example, in 2008, we can see a clear spike in the VIX. This is, of course, due to the housing crisis. So it looks like SPX VOL's current strategy is to anticipate that the VIX will stay low, which means that they're shorting VIX. So in other words, they take positions that benefit based on the VIX going down or staying low. As long as there's no spike in volatility, the fund makes money. But of course, fund managers are hedging their bets and managing their risk. Just in case a huge volatility spike does occur, the fund purchases a very far out of the money call option, which means that if the volatility spikes up, they don't lose a ton of money in the process. Think of this position like insurance just in case the other side of the trade happens. From SVOL's holdings, we can see that the fund holds various treasury notes and bills, a call option on the VIX as protection, and they're shorting VIX futures, betting that volatility will go down. An ETF with a high dividend like SVOL comes at a cost. SVOL has an expense ratio of 0.66%, and compared that to SCHD at 0.06%, it's more than 10 times more expensive to own this fund. But that expense gets you a massive dividend every month. Based on the history, investors can expect around 32 cents per share in monthly dividends. SVOL is a relatively new ETF so historical data is limited. But if you invested $10,000 when it first became available in May of 2021, you would have $11,260.31 in March of 2023. Here's how it compares to some other popular ETFs over the same time period. So compared to QQQ, an ETF that's very tech-focused, SVOL outperformed it, which is to be expected given that tech stocks have had a bit of a pullback since the 2021 bull market. But the thing that stands out the most about this ETF is that it beat out powerhouse ETFs like Devo, SCHD, and Jeff over the same time period. From a dollars in, dollars out perspective, you are better off owning SVOL compared to any other ETF mentioned in this video. But in the case of an ultra high yield ETF like SVOL, it makes sense to put it directly up against some other very high yield ETFs we haven't talked about yet. JEPI has a current yield of 11.99%, JEPQ has a yield of 12.35%, and SVOL is sitting high at 16.76%. JEPQ is the most recently formed ETF out of the ones we just mentioned, so our comparison is going to be from May of 2020 to March of 2023, so we can compare them equally. Let's take a $10,000 investment in all three ETFs and see how it performed. From the data, we can see that SVOL was the clear winner, at least from a dollars in, dollars out perspective. As useful as this data is, it's not the whole story. Investors still need to know a few things about SVOL. One major issue is that SVOL is actively managed, and with that active management comes more expenses, making this ETF more expensive to own. In addition, the performance of the fund strategy determines how much investors actually get paid. So if fund managers make a bad decision, or if the market makes an unexpected move, investors could get paid less, or maybe not even at all. The ETF is new and has limited price history that we can go off of, and there's no VIX spike that we can look at to in the past to see how this ETF performed over that period, which is very important because this ETF is based on the VIX index. And of course, the dividends from SVOL are almost certainly not considered qualified dividends, meaning that you're going to pay more in taxes if you have this in a taxable account. But it's not all bad. It's hard to find an ETF that has a solid investment strategy that is paying such a high yield. So this ETF can be an option for investors looking for income. For me personally, I am still firmly undecided on whether or not I'm going to put money into SVOL. I'm not very comfortable with the lack of history of this ETF, but I do think the yield is high enough for me to at least keep it on my radar. As tempting as it is to just throw a bunch of money into ETFs that have very high yields, it's important to remember that everything has risk in the marketplace, and SVOL is no exception. There is always a chance we could lose all of our money in our investments, and we just don't know what's going to happen in the future. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm just some guy on the internet that wants you to know a little more about your investments. You should absolutely consult a financial professional before making any investment decisions and to help you get to your financial goals. Let me know in the comment section down below if SVOL has a place in your portfolio. Best of luck in your investing journey. And if you found value in this video, click that like button, subscribe for more money, finance, and crypto content. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.